So we know the issues. We know about energy. We know about the border. We know Joe Biden doesn't know what he's doing. We know all that. We get all that. But why do this? Why do this here tonight with Legacy Pack? Because there's a whole lot of people who have the passion to save this country who need help getting off the ground. The purpose of Legacy Pack is to save America. That's our mission. That's what we really want to do because America is worth saving. Uh, I am by trade, I'm a cybersecurity engineer. Okay, so this is my first run in, in politics. We need more conservative Republicans standing up and fighting for the Constitution. We're an America First Pack and we want to promote and help our uh, up and coming uh, candidates, and uh, we're going to be holding the line for President Trump. I joined the Army at 17 years old. My first day at my first unit, which was 25th Infantry, was September 10th, 2001. So the next day was 9 11. And I spent about a, a total of a decade between Iraq and Afghanistan in country. So my country means everything to me. When I realized that if people like myself who don't want to be politicians don't start stepping up and taking these seats that nothing's going to change, then I said, okay, I'll do it. Who deserves to lead the people of this country more than those who serve this country? So I'm behind every one of them. So let's, uh, let's, let's make sure we get more veterans into, into power. I, I'm all for it. Remember why you're involved. We have to make sure people remain humble and not engage in self-glorification. You are here for one reason, and that is to save the country. Period. End of story. And for those candidates who are looking uphill and wondering how, keep your head down, focus on the target, and outwork everybody. And I promise you, you're not going to lose. You're either going to win on election night, or you change the game on election night. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you, Martha. Thank you all. We're honored. I know there are so many organizations represented here today. But you're uh, you do very well. And I just had somebody write down. First of all, James and Sarah Pritchard. Thank you very much. Yes. Great job. Thank you. We appreciate all the help. Stanley and Donna Fitzgerald. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. It's great. It's great that you're with us. Mike Acton. Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald with Veterans for Trump. And I'm here with State Delegate in West Virginia, Henry Dillon. How are you today, Henry? Doing very well. How are you, sir? Good. Thank you. So, Henry, can you tell our viewers a little bit about your background? Uh, certainly. I'm um, a native West Virginian. I uh, live here in the southern coal fields of West Virginia. And uh, I come from a family of educators and also uh, am an educator myself uh my entire adult life um i've seen a lot of changes in west virginia and the country and particularly the last 10 20 years and uh, i think like a lot of us i'm just trying to direct our nation back to what it was supposed to be at its founding well a amen to that and you are a sitting state legislator uh delegate as it's called in west virginia You've backed and uh, put up a lot of legislation and passed some. Uh, can you tell us some of the highlights of the bills and legislation you worked on? Well, I've uh, sponsored quite a few bills. Um, unfortunately, most of those have not been taken up because I've been pretty outspoken uh, against the leadership in West Virginia, which seems to be uh, bent on selling our beautiful state out to uh, special interests from around the globe. So uh, most of my best work, I guess you could say, has been trying to slow down, oppose, stop, uh, throw sand in the gears or whatever else I can do to slow down this sort of legislation that uh, is selling our, our children out, really. And, and that's how we ended up being connected to you. I guess I didn't phrase that correctly. Uh, we are aware of what's going on in your state and um, the establishment and basically working with the Democrats. 
I heard Bill Bill Gates was in your state uh, making deals with your governor. Uh, so some crazy stuff. Yes, sir. Uh, Bill Gates has influence and, and, uh, and other billionaire uh, technocrats have uh, a degree of influence in this state, which is frankly disturbing. And uh, I don't think any of us really fully understand how deep those ties go. Uh, we could probably make some some guesses and we could probably uh, come up with some ideas. Uh, we, we know for sure that our uh, sitting senator is deeply tied with the World Economic Forum. And uh, we know for certain that uh, our sitting governor is uh, tied with quite a few uh, other billionaires, you know, around the, the country. But anyway, our uh, our legislature, our leadership in legislature, it seems to be more concerned with what people in um other countries think about West Virginia, uh, about what the corporate interests think about West Virginia and really their wishes rather than the people who live here. Sounds a lot like the Democrats. In a- uh, exactly. In <laughs> fact, in fact, uh, I think you'll probably see some statistical analysis emerge in uh, the not too distant future, uh, which will illustrate exactly that. And that's why the people from West Virginia and people across the country need to help in these state races and get behind uh, incumbents like yourself or candidates that represent our values. And and, in, and before we go in closing, um, people across the country are concerned about these indictments of the former president, and I have them here in, in my state. Um, what are your thoughts on what's going on with President Trump and the use of our justice system? Well, clearly, these are politically motivated prosecutions uh, and persecutions, uh, whether we're talking about people like uh, President Trump or whether we're talking about great patriots like Derek Evans and others, people who are currently uh, still either being held without trial or in various circumstances not having their rights uh, recognized by the federal government or being singled out uh, for what was really a peaceful demonstration, except for a few instances, which we understand uh, were largely instigated by, uh, it appears to be federal employees, federal agents. So um, I think we're seeing the fruit of um, seeds which were planted long long ago as far as the deep state and uh, how far they're willing to go to keep any legitimate opposition from taking root in this country. And I think for, for a few decades, we have, um, we've operated un- under one set of rules uh, and people didn't really question. People didn't really stand up for, for too long and the deep state was uh, allowed to get entrenched to such a level that that now trying to uproot it is, I'm not going to say impossible, but it, it's extremely difficult. And I think people need to understand what patriots are having to give up, what patriots are having to endure to be able just to fight this. And uh, I know this personally because my life has changed significantly since I became uh, more publicly involved in this fight. Well, we appreciate you stepping up and doing what you're doing in West Virginia and fighting for the people and our country and your own Derek Evans there, uh, an American hero. So listen, we appreciate you, Henry, and you have our full uh, endorsement with Veterans for Trump. And uh, we uh, want to see you get reelected into office. And please tell our viewers where they could find your website. Um, well, my website uh, has been dylanfordelegate.com, um, and that will probably remain uh, my website unless I make a change in the near future. But, uh, but really, if you do a little bit of searching around uh, with voting records in West Virginia, it's kind of easy to, to see where I stand. Um, and I would encourage every uh, voting citizen to take the time to do that and do your homework, know who you're voting for. And thank you so much for, for this, uh,
uh, endorsement. It means it means a lot to me, and uh, I know that the voters of West Virginia will uh, will appreciate uh, what you're doing here and uh, your support for other patriots around the country. Thank you, sir, and uh, we appreciate you, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too.